Welcome, and thank you for watching this demonstration on meaningful use, how to achieve the core and menu measures. This video demonstration is on core measure number 11, clinical decision support rules. First, let's open up the clinical decision support rule PDF from the MTBC website. This eligible professional meaningful use core measure number 11 out of 15 requires that we implement one clinical decision support rule relevant to the specialty or high clinical priority along with the ability to track compliance with that rule. And the measure for this is simply to implement one clinical decision support rule and there are no exclusions. So let's describe in detail what this objective means. Throughout the course of your 90-day reporting period, you must simply implement one clinical decision support rule for your entire patient population, or for a segment of your patients that have high clinical priority, and then track your own compliance with that rule. So let's take a look at some of the definition of terms and the attestation requirements. So a clinical decision support rule is any rule that is intelligently provided through the EMR software that enhances your delivery of care. So this is at the time of treating the patient, a rule can be implemented. Now these rules are not including drug to drug and drug to allergy or drug to disease or drug to food. Although those are clinical rules, those are more or less real-time alerts specific to medication. This is a broader category of rules. This is clinical decision support at the time of patient care. And the attestation requirement for this is that you must simply say yes or no. Yes, I have implemented one clinical decision support rule, or no, I have not. The rule and the details of the rule are left to your discretion as healthcare providers. You can select any type of rule. As your EMR vendor, we can help guide you on what type of rule, and of course there are many rules already built into the EMR. The matter now is up to you to implement that rule and track your own compliance uh, with that standard. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this rule is met through the MTBC EMR. If we have a patient account open in the EMR and we go to the chart section to document a clinical component of this visit, we'll go ahead and click on the charts tab. When we click into the charts tab for any patient, we may notice that there is a red alerts button visible on this patient's record. Let's go ahead and click into the alerts. And here we can see that there are alerts provided for this patient specific to a CPT code alert. So we have a handful of CPT code alerts, no medicine alerts, no diagnosis code alerts, and no lab alerts, but we do have some immunization alerts and some procedure alerts. Here we can see for this patient that a mammogram is currently due, and the details are listed down below. The U.S. Preventative Services Task Force recommends screening mammography with or without clinical breast examination every one to two years for women aged 40 and older. And the frequency of this service found fair evidence that mammography screening every 12 to 33 months significantly reduces mortality from breast cancer. So this is a clinical decision support rule that can help you keep track of your patients who are due for a mammogram. These types of rules can be self-created through the EMR or you can use the rules that are already built into the system. Let's go take a look at how we create rules through the EMR and how we can manage alerts and rules that are already established. First we'll go to the system management menu and scroll down to disease management guidelines and we will select disease management guidelines. Here we can create a new rule by clicking on new and then selecting some of our patients demographic criteria. So we can say this is for female patients where the age is greater than 
45. And we want to provide a reminder for a certain procedure. And we can click the plus sign to add a specific procedure code or a series of codes. So if we want to provide a reminder for a comprehensive physical exam, we can go select the specific physical exam, and that would be this 99396. We can read the details of that specific physical exam. And we would like to remind the patient to have that physical exam annually. And we can now save this rule. This rule will now provide us the similar type of alert that we have here, where a red alert button will be enabled for any female patient greater than 45 years of age who has not had a periodic physical exam within that year. These types of rules and these types of alerts are built into the EMR, and you can create and modify rules for procedures, immunizations, medications, or lab orders at your discretion. To review or modify any alert that's already created in the EMR, simply click on that alert and click Modify and update your rules or your alerts or your frequency for the established rule or alert. Implementing clinical decision support rules for this meaningful use measure simply requires that you implement one rule across the board for your patients or for a segment of your patients that are clinically of a high priority. And again, the rule that you create is at your discretion. You can choose patients with physicals or diabetic patients with an A1C over a certain value, or for example, patients who have a certain BMI. If you wanna create a rule around that type of material, the alerts tool is the perfect place for that functionality.